Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é a Aleartes. Seguinte, a Blakestore.com, a melhor loja do Brasil, está comprando e vendendo skins com os melhores preços do mercado. Faz o upgrade nas suas skins antigas, compra o seu inventário completo e 100% confiável. Utilizando o cupom ALEARTES1, você vai adquirir mais desconto nas suas compras. Então, entra no link da descrição e não perde essa oportunidade. Falou, trouxa. Beleza. Cacerado. Mais um. Deixa o Vini jogar. Vai. Boa. Boa. Linda. Vai, mira, 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 mira. Meu Deus, Vini! Caralho! Meu Deus! Puta que pariu, mano! Que caralho, mano! Caralho, mano! Caralho, mano! Que que é um milagre, velho? Um milagre, mano! Um milagre, mano! It's planted in an awkward position as well. It's not planted for Jax. Yes, he can get himself around to checkers, but he's gonna have to dust himself through the smoke first. Jax has done a bunch of damage to JR. This surely still though in the hands of Vega Squadron. They've used all of their utility. They're gonna have to come out and face Kenny at some point. And he's gonna look to deliver. There's the first frag spinning around, get the second. Oh, and picks up the third as well. G2 take the lead off the back of Kenny's beautiful play with the AK-47. As he goes with a long flank here. This might be a little bit too late. We will find out. Summer's holding off dark side corner. But Bintet, this is a huge flank. This is get right ask at Starlighter. He's going to go all the way behind him. They have no idea. Gets the gun out. Alex realized it. He looked to Banana, knew the timing was off, found the kill as well. And oh, line up though. Summer again. Again, he clutches it back. This time with three. All as he was solo and the bomb was ticking. How does that happen? And we'll rotate towards Coffins. All five players now, Matt, on the B side of the map for Tai Lu, and it's just MBK to defend them. No one rotating as of yet. Apex begins the rotation, but it's a little bit too late. MBK has to frag hard. Certainly has so far. Two through the edge of the smoke. In fact, Big Ted caught out as he was retreating. Apex will concede the fact that they crossed over. Comes a little bit late with his spray through the smoke, but MBK will play off that. Through he goes. Through he goes indeed. He finds both as he turns back. Bomb gets planted. So money enough, but they'll get the defuse. It was Actually favors them. Cody finds the kill. They only get one back. Sergey down to some die young. And excuse me, I take that back. It was Ariel. Sergey's still on the side. How dare I confuse the two? Because Sergey could be the hero and not the villain. He still goes down at seven. That's pulled it slightly closer. A two on one. Alu, the last alive, drops in with a tech nine and has the bomb. Unaware, however, oh, he is aware. He's very aware that they've gone up behind him in heaven. And the AWP closes it out. He might have been slow to start, but Alu yeah. shows off why the and this could be the final curtain coming down. Dick Stacy though finds himself a kill into Zaiwu, but there goes Apex. It's down to Sterling again. He's been in so many clutch situations, so many 1VXs. Is this his moment to shine? He's gonna have to if Greyhound continue to be in this game. Finds our oh, no. What? How is that missed? He's got the second kill anyway, but it doesn't matter. Vitality have made the comeback a reality. That's a beautiful Flusher in the meantime trying to find a safe after fan position there as the dual rush was looking for, but it's not gone well initially. Finds it now. Bentet, his wounds from earlier could come back to haunt him if attacker doesn't find it, but he does, and now 1v2. This is a very winnable one on two right now for Flusher. Yeah, you know, he's in the bathroom. Slow and steady, looking to win that race. And he does find attacker now, just Bentet, no health and no hope. His back turn, Flusher with a 1v2. Cloud9 find their first. Yeah, very well played by Flush right there. A lot of jiggle peaks from that middle bathroom position. Nice precision. Not sure why that wasn't a kill. Must have gone through the floorboards. Still finds it though onto Keo as he's holding this one down. No bullets in the org. His teammate Axcrook could finish the job for him. Never mind. He's got a USP. Bentet's playing deathmatch. Four frags. Admittedly, an absence of weaponry really for Cloud9. A bit of Kevlar for Flusher and the Desert Eagle. Looking for precise shots and finds the elbow of Axcrook down to 40. Give us the ace. It's not going to be. Excrit will finish that one off in the half. Ends 12 to 3. A CT spawn and realizing he can have this flank. I think they will. Two kits. Smoke flash nade to be used by Cloud9 and Flush of being patient. He's waiting for this flank to come in before he makes his move. Now coming in, some pre fire. Has to contend with Sterling, and he's looking for the peak, and he won't be able to find the frag. Good shot from Sterling with the Deagle, but Rush still alive in this scenario. Gets the. Você tá tio de Adam, mas a Gaia tá em dia. Lá vai. Eu vou botar no QNS. Eu prefiro a mágica. Ele tá quase move dele, velho. Vai QNS. Meu Deus, mano. Galho usado. 
Galho... Ou oh, ele caiu do nada. Nossa. Um era outro. Vocês, vocês só começavam de CT, ganhando os faca. Tomava no cu, tipo, tomava um sound violento. E depois de terra, vocês jogavam fino e ganhavam o jogo, mano. É porque de terra eu podia passar taxa agora. Mas então por que que isso começa de CT? <risos> zoeira, zoeira. Não, pra, pra falar a verdade, eu sou meio que, que da ideia que qualquer mapa, mesmo se eu achar que um, um mapa de terra é mais forte, eu sempre prefiro começar qualquer mapa de CT pela questão financeira, que se você tiver que virar o jogo, é mais fácil virar o jogo de terra, porque você quebra o CT mais fácil financeiramente. Boa Só resposta. Só por isso que eu sempre preferia começar de CT. Agora você Sim. me deu uma resposta que eu gostei muito de bom. muito bom, mano. Essa é uma resposta de quem joga, né, velho? Acho que nem o professor sabia dessa, eu falo, ele sabia dessa? <risos> <risos> já, já explica aí então, Fê. Tem a presença ali também do Vini, Cacerato acaba sendo eliminado, porém o Art tá esperto pra fazer a troca. Toma o res, 4 contra 3 agora. Fúria tá na vantagem numérica, vamos ver, a presença do Art, ele vai se movimentando aqui pra van. Pegou a informação de que tem mais gente... Tem que tomar cuidado, o Denis vai ficar baixadinho, pega a informação, Arterino, o nome dele, derruba dois bonequinhos mais três, cá pro Arte, vai sobrar somente o Forest, e ele vai aparecer, toma na cara pro Vi, não é ponto, nosso ponto, Brasileiro Fúria, abre o seu primeiro pontinho no Major. Dexter was spotted. Ooh, double smoke. And actually, mini wide open as well. And BK's just able to walk in. Provide an opening. Can his teammates build upon that? I think there's just way too many bodies. Close range around it. Now on top of the hut. Alex can't get the decent angle. And even though it's good trades, at least this time around, Apex is left in a one on two. A winnable one on two. As he is going to get the bomb planted downstairs. No one there to stop it. And plenty of time to relocate. He also has full grenades. So Molotov on the ramp. Allows him to relocate. Looks like he may make a move down to the, the staircase or double doors. Currently chilling in vent. Bomb is planted out in the open, but he's been caught. Oh no, Sterling! How have you whiffed that? You had him dead to rights. His back turned. And now if Apex peeks round, he should have this round completely under wraps and he's got it done. I want to say that's a phenomenal play by Apex, but honestly, Sterling... <laughs> <risos> Velho, é a pior cena que eu já vi na história de um Major, mano. E o Art cara, no meio do futuro. No meio, mano. E eles são bons no que eles estão fazendo, que mano. Isso, é Pô, é cara, que... caralho, mano. Eu daria um troco, velho. Olha Sério mesmo. Pulando, pulando, caralho, pulando. mano. Cara, é um show, de, é um show, é um doutora, show né? isso, mano. Pô, oh, mano, na boa, velho, o CS existe a maior cota, o CSGO existe a maior cota, você tem meses pra se preparar, velho, você não tá perguntando qual que é a fórmula, tá ligado? A cura do câncer, velho, a cura da AIDS, você só tá... Porra, faz um major direito, mano! Isso, que raiva tá ligado, que isso me dá, tá ligado, velho! Esse, esse estúdio aí, Gal, da SL em Katowice, ah, mano, só pra te avisar que não é... Fechou minha agora, velho. O Michel tá comendo. Então, mano, vamos lá, Greyhound vem... De... Maravilha, maravilha Então tô aqui, a gente já acerta aí o cronômetro Tô fazendo a introdução Estamos de Greyhound, Fnatic Primeiro jogo dos desesperados Alguém vai pra casa, certo? Trying to wait for the smoke to dissipate To get the vision back Babysitter on the ball And that's just gonna give them a two kills Why? If you're gonna be there, be dynamic, surely If you're gonna protect the planter At least consider the options of where the hell they're gonna show up from And Shocks better show up now Because otherwise it's 13-2 And that's exactly the situation Yeah, I don't remember that It was pretty spicy Little firing squad that And now they, they start a little scroll How did they make it so far? Yeah <laughs> This should be it now, <laughs> Lias. Is that they're actually still, they're, they're gonna get a plan, surely not. They're gonna do uh, what is happening what's... right now, Alex. Hello, okay. NIP now in a three versus one the, on the B side. JKS is now trying to work his way back in. Bomb down, weapons are quiet, at least for Dennis. Two frags for Forest, they had nothing. There's no way JKS expects a second player at bench right now. He's checking everything but bench. I can't believe NIP, they, they, they should have done this, they have done this, oh, get right with the Glock, and we're stupid for underestimating NIP, how have they got this so far, we're talking about anything and everything other than the round.